Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And my affinity for stubby screwdrivers uh, inevitably led me to the PB Swiss stubby, which I just got. Um, and the road there is based on um, both the appreciation for the different stubby designs, although some of them I really think are not very good. Um, and my uh, new discovery of some of the PB Swiss tools. This is where I started. This was the one that um, kind of taught me a little bit about the design, the fit, the finish, the feel, the operation. Um, even though it's just nothing but a bit driver, um, I really like it. And uh, this one I, I opened not too long ago, used it on several tasks already. It ended up getting pretty dirty and cleaned up nicely, but I can see it's showing age pretty fast because it's a soft plastic and the soft plastics sometimes like with snap-ons end up um, getting discolored. Uh, I prefer, you know, if I, I can avoid using a bit driver, I will. Um, one thing, notice this has got stuff stuck to it. They're very magnetic and it's nice, you know, if you're not working with uh, small screws or, you know, to be able to turn the magnetics off. You can't really use a demagnetizer with something like this, or you, if you really could demagnetize it, you'd lose a bit, but in fact, you can't de demagnetize the neodymium magnets like that. Um, but anyway, I really like it. Um, but I was interested in the stubby, and so I ordered one, and uh, it arrived, and so far, um, I like it. It's very similar in operation to this Weeha, where you can see I've got a bit carousel that pops out here. This does fly out sometimes and and basically shatter on the floor and I have to pick up the bits. Uh, I've got to be a little bit careful there. Um, on the PB Swiss, what happens is this slides out and snaps into place. It's got a bit shelf around the carousel here, so the uh, bits fall in and stay in, in position. Um, they don't they can't fall out except going sideways um, And this doesn't come out so it snaps in tight this one I've sent flying a few times where I'm trying to pry it open and hits the ground and bits go everywhere But this is kind of nice if you need to take it out and set it to the side because you're swapping bits so often um, Now why do I like this? Um, I've already pulled it out of the bag and played around with it. One of the things is that the um, bits, once they're in, are really in. This is the PB Swiss has definitely got the strongest magnets of any um, that I felt. You know, way stronger. In fact, I could easily just make a little tool that'll test that. I can just pull them, put them together, and pull. I may do that for a video. Um, but anyway, really strong. I also like that it is very grippy up here. And if you look at all of these, none of them have the grip surface right up where you choke, you know, basically choke up when it's palm spinning. And why you need that is a lot of times the precision work is done right there. And then you back off for larger torque. You know, this is basically a lever arm, this diameter or the radius here. So the further out you move from the center, the more um, a mechanical advantage you have, but the smaller part allows precision. And this one, what do you have here? Two flat surfaces. You could put a wrench on that, I guess, if you wanted, but it's slippery. Um, Klein, hard plastic, although it is knurled, so it helps a little bit. Vessel, perfectly smooth. In fact, this one is my least favorite screwdriver, not only because you need this proprietary size bit or the extra long bits, but the way it fits just, it doesn't seem to work that well. It's easy to lose control. You almost, it's just this ring here. That's almost where all the work goes because you're never really out here. Um, Snap-ons are a design that needs to be retired, especially you know, the super slippery ones. The Vera, I, I really like. It does fit in my hand. You can use these kind of edges um, as the uh, kind of the knurled portion, but um, there's still room for improvement because I'm on hard plastic down here. Milwaukee's more of a novelty uh, craftsman. Um, I, I got nothing really good to say about that one. That design snap on this is great, but it is big. I mean, that's that's wonderful. Um, I would put this in the Milwaukee, at least in a different class, because of the ratcheting mechanism. Um, anyway, 
So what do I got? I got a real strong bit holder. I got a nice carousel that I can yank on and I'm not gonna pull it out and send it flying. And it gives me that positive stop. Um, this one came with three torques, two Phillips and a slotted. Of course, you can put any of the bits that you want in there and make it just right. Um, you can't really use it as well with this open. I mean, it's not gonna hurt anything because as far as I can tell, there's no structural integrity added to this handle. Um, whereas some screwdrivers, you kind of have to have the back on to really make them good to work with. Um, but once that's in, drop it down and then go to town and actually really like it. Um, I'll let you know, you know what, because I'm going to probably get another PB Swiss ratcheting um, driver at some point. Um, this one came from somewhere in America. Most of these seem to come from Israel and take forever. Um, but anyway, uh, that's my new favorite here. Um, and I'm going to keep playing around with it, see how these handles hold up. I have heard some people have found them to disintegrate in certain conditions. Um, but it's just, when you put it on a, uh, on a, a screw, um, it just seems to fit in my hand quite well. So with that, dock out.